Yes, paired with this bag, darling. Okay, it's gonna be a look. Hey gems, it's Grandma Jamima, and we are back at it. Uh, oh, uh, the whoa! Now we forget my own intro. <laughs> hey gems, it's Grandma Jamima, and we are back at it again with another mother freaking vlog, baby. <laughs> Girl, I was like, what the back um at with the uh, what is going on, y'all? Anyways, good morning. Um, I just got my nails done. I went back to the same nail place I went to last time where my nails didn't break. Um, the only issue is when they do my nails, it lifts very soon. Um, so when she was like created up, like this nail was damn near gone. Like it was like lifting, lifting. I just said, girl, just please just hold on until my next nail appointment. So I said, I'm gonna give them one more try to see how it works out. And if they lift super soon again, I'm gonna try somewhere else, but they're cute. I got like a nudie ombre with this like champagne color. I didn't want anything that was too gold or too silver because I've been, well, I've been heavy into silver lately. Um, and I wanted something chrome, but just in case I switch between like gold and silver, I wanted something in between that'll look good with jewelry. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'm picking up my clothes that I got altered the two weeks ago. I don't remember when I dropped them off. I actually forgot that I <laughs> dropped my clothes off here. I was like, wait a minute, then I got stuff to pick up. Like, why don't they call or something? Leave me a voice, me um, voice memo or a text. Um, your clothes are ready. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I am making plans to try out another tailor as well so i have to gather up some clothing articles to send her way as well um i'm debating if i want to go to ulta and tj maxx i really need to get home so i can edit and upload a video tonight but i kind of want to go to tj maxx see if they have any jewelry so <laughs> we'll see we'll we'll, uh, we'll see we will see but in the meantime, let me go pick up my clothes. Y'all, I love my nails. I love my nails. Anyways, let me go pick up my clothes and then we'll see how um how they look, y'all. Hopefully they fit. Okay, because I pay good coins. All right, y'all. Let's go. Si quieres arena, sé que estás muy buena y todo, pero el que juega con fuego se quema. Sabiendo que existen miles así de hermosas y así de nenas. So I picked up my clothes. Um, I tried on a pair of the camel pants, and they fit. I mean, she did a really good job. Like you can't really tell where she made the um, alterations. Um, but you guys know I always have an issue with the front of my pants being too long. And so I came back out and I asked her like how much would it cost for her to alter like the front. And then she made this like exasperated sound like I was stressing her out. <laughs> and I was like, well, why are you doing that? Like, <laughs> this, is, this is a service that you offer. Like, this is not me begging you to do something. This is something that you offer. Do you not want the job? Um... So she she looked at the front and she was like, basically she doesn't have the machine or something to do whatever. But my glasses just fell. <laughs> um, but I was like, and I mean, I really like that attitude. Like, I didn't like that. It wasn't like mean spirited, but it was like, oh, like, okay, you clearly don't want to do this. <laughs> um, Dang, my glasses fell literally in the worst place. Like, it's so far. Where's my grabber when I need it? <laughs> I need one for the car. But, um, yeah, I was like, because at first, you know, I tried to paint, so I was like, oh, she did a really good job. I might not need to try out any other people. But after that response, I was like, oh, I need somebody else. So clearly, she do not want this job. 
Oh my god. Hold on, let me put my drink up. Let's see, that'll it's the my cup tray situation is in the way. Dang. <laughs> but yeah, I I I don't really like that little uh attitude, you know. So on to the next person. I only tried on one pair, so hopefully they all fit as well. I don't know. And either way, I mean, like, why is that a service you offer if you don't want to do it? I'm confused. And it's not like I was rushing her like, oh, I want this done before I leave. Like, I was just like, you know, how much? Even if she was going to tax me. She just like, she does not like altering my sauce. actually a terrible angle whatever i just recorded my fall fragrance and sephora recommendations video so super excited about that you should have already watched it by the time you see this vlog so the question is have you if this look looks unfamiliar to you you are behind <laughs> um but yeah so I just want to show you guys the jewelry that I picked up from um, TJ Maxx, the damage that I did. Because um, the girl got some bangers. Like, y'all know I love a dangly situation because I don't have no hair. So, uh, like, do you just, can you see the vision? Ugh! Cannot wait to wear those. Um, I got these little... diamond diamonds are forever these are so pretty i do wish they were a little thicker but they're cute they're super cute a nice way to add a little razzle dazzle to the ear when you don't want to do too 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 much love that i finally found a sterling silver based pair of hoops with pearls on them because they i see earrings like these all the time but they're always brass these are sterling silver so when i tell you i snatch these up so quickly i feel like these would be perfect for more like elegant looks or anytime i want to wear pearls with the outfit super excited about this what else did i get i got these um i love the mixed metal tones and the like the gems and stuff as well like i just feel like these ugh are gonna make the ears pop the way they shine like they're not huge but the, sh the shine on on the the perimeter oh these are so gorgeous and then with the the freshwater pearls in the middle <sighs> who would have known that jamima was a girl that would love pearls so much please i got these because i like balls <laughs> um yeah i thought these are cute as well yeah cute and different i try to look for like um more unique pieces that stand out because i know i don't have no hair okay so i need something something that'll help kind of like bring out the facial features so love that to love her life um i like the size of these crosses um yeah so i got these pretty big and ooh, i love this this was a fine honey oh and they're expensive too 25 dollars okay so it's like these spiraled earrings but look how like how thick they are oh i think i've seen one similar to this but they were a lot thinner 
so they don't stand out. But these, honey, you gonna see these on the ear. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is really gonna make like a look pop. I love that. Um, and I got these. I love where you can find like, I mean, most of the jewelry um, I teach at my stuff, like they're quality, but this is like quality, quality. And it's so pretty. I picked this up because mainly of this little feature here. I feel like this is really cute with the rectangle, rounded rectangle hoops. Um, and they're just really nice, like just beautiful pieces. Oh my god, I love this so much. I cannot wait to wear this out. <laughs> and last but not least, I picked up this ring right here. Isn't she stunning? Like legitimately, if a man was like, oh, let's get married, and then he gives me this ring as my wedding ring, um, yes. I was like, y'all lucky y'all had this in my, my real ring size. Cause then I walk around outside, um, excuse me, I'm taken. I feel like maybe is this a nine? This gotta be an eight. <gasps> Y'all, Jimmy, must stop. You know this is too small for your fingers. Why would you put it? Please. Cause when I do a pinky ring, I usually do a seven and it's slightly too big. But it was too it was too pretty for me to pass up, y'all. <sighs> She's just so pretty. Like the details. Now honestly, like this is like for me personally, this is wedding ring material. Like, I am obsessed with this ring. Please. <gasps> Anyways, I'm getting ready to go out now. Um, I'm going out for hookah. And your girl's pretty cute. I'm wearing a Shein top. This will be featured in my next Shein haul. I'm not sure when that's going up yet. Before or after this video. I'm not quite sure. But I would like to say before. Not sure. And I'm wearing it with my Amazon camo pants and um hold on y'all yeah I'm dressing it up with these heels that I got from um they're from Nine West but I got them from Nordstrom and watch is is it JBW JBW mixed metal um I'm doing this Amazon ring my TJ Maxx ring I don't remember what this is from child don't remember I think this is Nordstrom 2 or Saks I think this is from Atomic Gold. Mm, I could be lying. And I'm wearing my Oud Vanille Perfume from Amazon. I mixed it with my uh, The Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. Beautiful. I mean, I just did a, a fragrance haul, so it's kind of like mixed right now. I have a lot of scents going on, but those are the main two. <laughs> oh, let me show you guys my bag. It's not like a bad all. So these are the shoes. Lay pumps. For, oh, all right. These are the pumps for tonight. I feel like you can't even see the rise of the dazzle on camera. It's not giving. You can't see the shine, honey. Oh, yes. Paired with this bag. Darling. Okay. It's going to be a look. Um, I'm hoping to get a picture tonight. We shall see. Anyways, um, it's time for me to head out the door. So, see y'all when I see y'all. <laughs> oh, these are from Amazon as well, from the brand Sopata. Um, actually, this, this ring is from Sopata too. Oh! I think this ring is from Sopata too. I'll link them below, but see, I'm talking about it's too big. I, could, I couldn't leave it. I couldn't leave it. Look at, look at her, please. All right, y'all, I gotta go. I gotta leave. Please don't make it hard for me. <laughs> if I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fold and I sell out, that's weak. That's why I take my time before I make my mind up. And I do this like seven days out of the week. And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes. 
so I don't have to work no nine five. Yeah, we be taking everything for granted, no lie. Cause I remember days that we could barely get by. Used to use the negativity to get high. But now the comments we reading can ruin our lives. Why? It used to be easy back on Easy Street. Hollywood ain't that good, it's going down like it's on a needed beat. Even though now it's lobster, all on top of my pasta. I can still feel locked up, like the head of a roster. Cause they'll take your soul from right up under your nose. And make you feel like you did it just to obtain your goals. Oh yeah, it's good when you get it, but it don't last that long. Cause I promise you can't take it with you when you gone. That's why I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fold, not sell out, that's sweet. I know that's, sweet. that's why I take my time. I take my time before I make my mind. Up. I make my mind and I do this like seven days out of the week. I and I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had, I had to earn my stripes. So I don't have to work no nine. Yeah, we can learn from other people's failures sometimes. I used to make believe and tell a plethora of lies. Oh, yeah. Now I see how actions take effect on my life. Cause I don't even have a portrait of this family of mine. Man. I used to be speeding back on Easy Street. Hollywood ain't that good, it's going down like it's on a needed beat. Even though I got options, every tree in this garden. I can still feel lost cause every day I wonder. Yeah, will they take my soul from right up under? So I just got my hair cut. I didn't have a chance to bleach my hair last night. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get away with not bleaching it. Like I'm hoping, cause you can already see the black peeking through, which I hate, but I really don't wanna bleach it. <laughs> so, um, I think I am not going to, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna stop by Subway real quick and grab something. I have some returns to make at Target. I purchased these Maybelline liquid lipsticks and um, they were all open. I just wanna know why when I order lipsticks from Target, y'all sending me stuff that's already open. And I can tell it's already open because the seal is broken. This is why I didn't buy it in store. Target to better. Um, first of all, tell me you like a liquid lipstick without telling me you like a liquid lipstick. <laughs> but like literally every single one of these have been opened. These are the only two that are like actually like brand new. Get out! Uh, Y'all want me Walmart so bad, please. And I thought that if I ordered online, I wouldn't have that issue. Because you, you guys know I usually do like Target delivery. But I said, you know, if I order online, like maybe it's gonna come from a warehouse and it's gonna be brand new. Because I don't know people be opening stuff in store. That was not the case. I ordered like 10 um, and only two of them came unopened. So I'm gonna go return all of those. Thank you. I wanna go to Walmart first cause they have it for like 75 cents cheaper. So I'm gonna see what I can find at Walmart and then go to Target to do the returns. I have to go to Ulta. Do I have to go to Ulta? No, I don't. Ulta's the last resort if I can't find the shades I want at Target or Walmart. But Walmart is more expensive. Walmart is like $12.99, like $12, $13. It's $9.99 at Target and it's $9.03 at Walmart. It's the fact that I memorize the prices because it's that deep to me. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I am about to, uh... oh my gosh, my friend gave birth, wow. Wow. I'm having a moment at five.
gems. Um, I'm about to, actually I'm not gonna call it a night. I said to edit a video. I, okay, anyways, I wanted to show you guys, um, I wanted to show you guys what I got today. Cause I'm super excited, super excited. Uh, uh, uh. Super excited. All right. So I went to Walmart and Target, as you guys saw, and got a pretty good mix of things. So let me pull them out. Pull them out, pull them out. Walmart, I got some really cute things. I mean, you guys saw when I was like um, pointing things out. Everything I showed you guys, I didn't get because some of them didn't come in my size, but they were so cute. I was like, somebody needs to come pick these up. Like, oh, she's cute. Oh, I like this. This is real cute. And I think I got this in a 4X. Is that the 2830? I love an oversized cardigan and it's so soft. 2830, yeah. This over all black, some cute boots. Oh, love it. And I feel like I couldn't get my hands on the um, the animal print cardigan from Target, the Kalana uh, collection. So this made me feel better about it. And she's so soft. Oh my God, I love this. Yes, what a win. Okay. I like the blue, like it just, oh, it just pops. It just works, darling. I got this cream sweatsuit. Let me see if this fits. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's gonna high water. I'll definitely have to like pull the sleeves up. I will keep her though. She's on the thinner side. Decent length. I'm not mad. I have the pants here somewhere. I am not mad. All right. I don't know, like, I'm not really... <sighs> well, let me not say I'm not a sweatsuits kind of girl, because it really depends on the set. I prefer for my sweatsuits to have some kind of like razzle dazzle or pizzazz to them like a lot of times i take my sweatshirts and i make them into like off the shoulder or like a one shoulder situation um i'm gonna leave this one as is though i like this i feel like this is giving like bourgeois running errands Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. is it oh it's kind of giving grandma a little bit because of the, the hem of the sweatshirt. And it's like, I wish it was a little longer on my ankle. It's like right on top of my ankle. So I'm gonna sag it a little bit. Yeah, it's not cute by itself. But I figured even if it's not cute, I can always wear it around the house. Um, yeah, I'm not, uh, not quite sure what it is I should do. Yeah, this might be inside life set. I don't know. Um, but it's comfy and it was cheap. They were like 12 bucks a piece, 13, so not bad. And I know y'all saw these uh, vests. Now, normally I'm not a vest girl, not like this puffer vest. Cause I just be like, <laughs> Your body's gonna be warm, but your arms gonna be cold. But I feel like this is actually like the perfect weather to wear something like this. This in between fall. And so, you yeah. that's exactly what I'm gonna get it for. Ah, ah, ah. I feel like I can style this up real cute. Ooh. So it's like puffer material, but the inside is like, Velvet, ooh! Oh, my hands felt amazing when they glided, glid, glung into the pockets. 
I like this. Y'all, whenever I imagine any kind of fit like this, in my mind, it's always all black, all black, all black, all black. I just love all black. <sighs> and I switched out my earrings, I'm wearing silver. I might switch over to like silver daily jewelry now, just because I've been wearing silver so often. Like I go out of my way to find like a silver situation or to make silver accessories work in my outfit. I wore an outfit the other day. Uh, when was it Taco Tuesday? Child, I was like, you know you should be wearing gold with that, but the silver was really cute with it. It was like an unexpected pop. So, these might be a little too big, but I'm gonna leave some kind of silver. I might need to get like a smaller little silver. Anyways, y'all don't care about that. Moving on. The one I'm most excited about Um, is this one right here? Once again, my infatuation with silver. Like, all black. Throw this bad boy on. Unfortunately, this does not have a hoodie. But she's still cute nonetheless. It's giving Space Jam. Pockets aren't as comfy. Oh, it is shorter too. I wish it was longer like the other one, but... It's fine. I can make this work with all black. <laughs> I like it. Alright, y'all. Um, what else is next? Oh, I saw the cutest two-piece like gray set. Did not come in my size. Sold out online for the most part. So I had to make do with what they had in store. But luckily it seems like the tops run big. So this is a size 18. And because of the boxy cut, I think I can finesse it. And I think it went up to an XXL. This is an XL. But yeah, so I scanned it on the app and I was able to find the shirt, but not the, the pants. But I was like, can't, I was like imagining the shirt and the pant together like, that would be a look, okay? So let me try that on. What else do I have? Oh, and I got this cute. Tell me this ain't cute though. Come on. I was cackling when I saw this. <laughs> this is so funny to me. Anyways, I like corny stuff like that. Yo, I'm not gonna hold you. This little sweat situation, I'm trying to see if. Um, it gets on your clothes. A lot of times these sweatshirts, the inside is super soft, but then it'll start like falling apart and it'll get over everything. Like, I hate that. Like the Fenty sweatsuit does that. And I paid good coin for that. And the fit is just, I don't love it. But it's super cute. And I feel like it looks good on other people, just not on me. <sighs> Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. This reminds me of the Kalana crop tees. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, so these are clearly designed to be like boxing oversized. This is pretty much fitted on me, which is how I prefer them anyways. This literally fits like the Kalana collab. Um, I'm not wearing a bra, so clearly. Imagine the girl's a little lifted. Yo, 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 yo. Um, I also got it in this gorgeous mint color. And it's like thick, y'all. Like, this is really good material. Like, wow. And these were expensive, though. These are like 25 bucks. That's expensive for Walmart. Made in Kenya. Love that. That explains the quality. Shout out to my cousins. $22.98. Ciao. Y'all ran up a tag, okay? Please. I think I am. So much for balling on a budget. This is just balling. We got this cute purple shade as well. <gasps> ah, I'm so happy I at least got the tops that fit, even though I couldn't get the pants. Because, you know, I could always wear the tops with something else. But super cute, super cute, super cute. 
Oh, so I saw this pair of sterling silver earrings, which I had to grab. I love this kind of like indentation on jewelry. Um, oh, I'm not even wearing my usual, my usual everyday earrings has this kind of print on it. My favorite ring has that kind of print on it. My necklace that I used to wear had that on it. And I'm like, if I could replace that in silver, that would be pretty amazing. But like I said, Walmart, you expensive. TJ Maxx would have given this to me for uh, $14.99, $12.99. $20. But they're so cute. I could let them go. Like, they're just literally everything. Oh, absolutely love them. Um, I don't remember if this is from Target or Walmart. Either way, ooh, apparently Milani has new lipsticks out. So I got one. I think this is the matte one, and this is a, a, a balm lipstick. I'm not exactly sure, but I can't wait to try these out. I love to try out nudes first to see how those work before I delve into the collection. <laughs> Hold, please. Oh, and this is a beautiful shade of gray. I don't usually like gray because I feel like they look a little overly casual, but a light gray, I feel like is so sexy. Which is crazy, like how just a shade or two would completely change how I feel about the color. But I love this and it's just the quality, the structure, just everything about this is just very nice. Very, very, very nice. Ooh, definitely worth every penny, every coin of that $23 for sure. Amazing material. Okay, so from Target, first of all, if y'all have never heard about this brand, Frenchie, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. This brand is literally everything. Like, I first tried their products maybe a month ago, a month and a half. I don't remember if I talked about it on a vlog or if I posted it on Instagram. I'm pretty sure I posted it somewhere. I just remember where. And I started off with a body wash and a spray. I know, I, I know, it's been more than a month because I've been wearing it as my gym spray, my cashmere vanilla ones. Anyways, little by little, with every Target delivery, I add to the collection. I now pretty much have something from every scent and I love their entire line. The only one that I'm not in love with is Citrus Amber, but everything else, amazing. Number one, cashmere vanilla. Number two, solar flare. Solar Fleur, which is flower in French. I love that line. Bergamot something. Um, Bergamot cedar, amazing, like woody, earthy, but fresh. Bergamot, oh, it's amazing. Lavender cloud, soothing, but not. it's not like basic lavender. It's like lavender mixed with cloud musk, the mixed bar perfume. Like, so it has like a kind of like a, I don't want to say zest, but it has something to it. Like, it's just, it's just nice. And I just tried the body scrub for the first time, like a couple of days ago. I have the body scrub in the bergamot cedar. It's sold out and everything else. I've tried multiple stores. I've tried everything. And I finally found it today in Lavender Cloud. I really want it in the freaking solar flare. Because, oh, I, I know I said that the vanilla was my favorite. And it really was. But that Solar Joan, she 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 played dirty. She she she's fighting for number one, y'all. Like I'm obsessed. The lotion, the lotion is bomb. But it's 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 an in-the-house lotion. By itself, when you first apply it, it's very unassuming. And at first I was like, mm, it's giving like cheapy lotion. Like it smells good. It applies very well, absorbs into the skin. But for me, when I think of like a nice lotion that's perfect in every sense of the word, it's thick, it's moisturizing for hours, it can withstand outside, it's fragranced, and the fragrance will last, and it gives the skin a nice, like, healthy glow. That lotion is just like a simple light lotion you can put it on, it absorbs the skin. The fragrance does last, but that's pretty much it. There's no razzle-dazzle. But then a couple hours later, I was in bed, scroll on Instagram, and I started like, like rubbing my hips, stuff. You need to be in a bed, you'd be like, <laughs> and I was like, dying. My skin is so soft right now. And usually I mix the lotion with the oils for extra, you know, but because it was at night, I was like, I don't need the extra, extra. And let me just put the lotion on so I'm not super crispy dry and my, my toes are not scratching the sheets. <laughs> so I'm laying in the bed, I'm just like, you know, fresh my hips, start rubbing my booty. And I said, dang, my booty feel real nice. <laughs> 
I'm the only one rubbing it. Oh, hate that for the world. Hate that for the world. I was like, not this little lotion I was low-key playing in my mind. Killing the game. Like I said, it's not an outside lotion. If you were outside, that wind go snatch that lotion right off your body. You're going to be ashy, mid-crashy, okay? But for the house at night, mm, or if you want to mix it with the oil, the oil doesn't give you like a lot of shine, but it just makes the skin look healthy and moisturized. Like I feel like it really does penetrate into the skin. But then again, I do mix with the lotion, so... The whole line is just fire. The body wash has nice cinnamon in it. Y'all know I love when body care also has like good skincare properties in it. Like, love that. I just, I love them so much. I love it all. I'm obsessed with it all. I know they have a hand serum. They have like a body roller serum. A body something. But that was kind of like, I feel like there's no real purpose to that. And it sounded like work, so <laughs> I didn't get that. I also got this Tonka Bean Soli Notes Perfume. Um, and I got this mainly to try out as a mixer for my fragrances for the days when I don't want to do like a vanilla or a floral or a fruity notes. I figure, you know, I'll switch it up with this sweeter vibe might work now this has vanilla in it i think it's mixed with vanilla amber and mandarin flower but it has a very like sweet element but it doesn't go too far into vanilla so i feel like this would be really cute to try out with one of my oods one of my oods there was another like i layered some of the perfumes by accident and individually i wasn't like wowed but one of the mixes i made by accident I was like, dang, that smelled real good. But you know, when you're just spraying stuff on your arm and trying to like smell each one to see what works, after a while you forget what's what. And so like this general region of my arm right here was just smelling divine. So at some point, I am going to have to go back to figure out what that mix is. <sighs> Don't know how I'm going to do that, but we're going to do it. And <clears throat> I was able to replenish some of the liquid lipsticks that i tried to get before and they sent me all open products so i just scour through honey my thing is i get we want to see what the, what the color looks like for real inside the tube i get it but if one tube is already open why do you have to open another fresh one open the one that's already open like i completely understand they should have a tester for all of these i get it but why do you have to open all of them I hate that for us. I really want as a people for us to do better. I really want for us as a people to take time to consider somebody else. Please, if we all just took a little bit of time to consider somebody else and what we're doing, the world would be such a greater place. I'm not saying to toss yourself to the side, forget your self-preservation and all that. I'm not, even, I'm not saying do that. Just a little bit of consideration will go so Far. Some of y'all hoes so inconsiderate. Oh my god. Why are there six um liquid lipsticks? All of them are open. You just need one. Whenever I want to look at one, I love to see which one's already open and look at that one. Because you know what? Consideration. Thinking about the next person. Please. But at least I got like a decent range of shades. Um, I did order one more from Ulta for freaking $13 when these are nine. Ugh. But that's it. I said, yeah, shit, I can't find no more at a cheaper price that ain't made, ain't made to be. So I thought these are really pretty though. And I was like, Jamima, you're about to spend $5,000 at Sephora. So calm down. Anyways, I'm about to call it a night, y'all. I'm going to play in my lippies tomorrow. Um, I'm going to put my clothes away. I'm so excited about what I found, y'all. I really love Walmart. Like, I'll be talking trash, but I love Walmart. Because even today, when I was talking about the lipsticks, like, people were like, oh, why don't you shop at Walmart? Why do people love to go to Target? Yeah. Look at the material. <laughs> don't get me wrong I love Walmart 
but Target just gives vibes and it's, a, it's just a better shopping experience. Sometimes you want to shop to save a buck. Sometimes you want to save a buck and you want to shop an experience. And even if it means spending an extra 50 cents per item, you got to go for that experience because it's also Starbucks. And it's just, I love both of them for different reasons, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm about to call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's been real. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And um, there's a lot going on this weekend. So I'm looking forward to taking you guys with me. Have a good night, y'all. Toodles! <laughs>